include everything. All right, guys, we are back in Code Combat. We're going to be doing the Ray Sword. We're doing this in JavaScript. We're going to be working with basic syntax and strings. So we're basically learning the ins and outs of JavaScript. The core essentials of any programming language is always starting with the syntax. Because if you don't know how to write something, you're not going to be able to code. That's pretty much it. So what we need to do here is we need to defeat the ogres. We also need to remember that these guys take three hits, or two hits. So uh, all we have to do is command our hero to attack. And who do we want to attack? We want to attack a rig. And we want to do it again. And we want to attack Rig once more. And then we want to attack Gert. And we want to attack Gert once more. So we're telling our hero object to run the method or function that then uh, takes in the parameter, which is a string, which is their name to know who to attack. That's what's going on right now. So we're saying, have our hero guy attack twice this person. And then we repeat that uh, two more times, essentially. All right, let's go ahead and run that. So bam, 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 bam. Oh. And I got rolled over, so more armor to win this fight. we're going to need to go uh, buy the Tarnished Bronze Breastplate. So here it is, 50, 50 coins. Um, our code was right, we just weren't strong enough to survive that, so we need more HP. So not, not too shabby. It's good to know that we're coding correctly. We just weren't able to survive the attack. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. We run this. You'll see we're a lot we're a lot tankier. Our health barely goes down, and cool, we're good to go. It's important to remember that this is a game as well as a learning tutorial, so there are going to be game aspects such as that that may you be like, oh my code's perfect, but I don't have the right items. Sorry, bro. Part of it. Enjoy it. Basic syntax and strings. Uh, we got a new item here. This is going to allow us to loop. I believe we'll probably use a while loop and then with the brackets. So let's go ahead and equip the Progmaticon 1 and let's get started in this. So say the password and move to X. Alright. So it looks like our hero will move right, doesn't know the password, tells us we can get the password in our help guide here. The password is hush. If you ever get stuck, uh, the help guide is a great place to go to to uh, see if it can provide great resources. Or you could just come watch my videos. Equally as good, if not better. Uh, but don't don't take it from me, I'm, I'm biased. So we're going to open the door and then we're going to move right one more time. So let's go ahead and run this and see. So move right, say the password, move right to the X. Uh, it looks like say is a function that our hero can do for them to say something. So, uh, that may come in useful uh, uh, at a later date. We'll see. Alright, next one that's up is the fire dancing. So, we're going to be using a while loop and basic syntax. I think our character is okay to go forward. So, we need to dodge the fireballs, and they want us to do it in under four statements. So, it looks like we're going to set up a while true loop. So while true, move the hero right. So all that's going to happen now is it's going to keep moving right until it gets pegged by fireballs. So what we want to do is we want it to move left. So move right, then move left indefinitely because we have nothing to break the loop. But we're just trying to dodge fireballs. We're trying to always be on the move. So move right, move left, move right, move left, move right, move left. It is important to note that this is an infinite loop right now. Um, it ends because this game, it's within the game, but if you're learning programming, you typically are going to have something that's going to break that true statement so that you can not have an infinite loop. All right, cool. Uh, loop to loop. Let's go, baby. Uh, looks like we don't need any any other statements. 
Alright, so we're trying not to die by the lightning beam, and we want to do it under six statements. Alright, cool. So, we have our wall troop, and we're moving right, moving left, moving... So we want to stay behind this thing. Should be simple enough. Just move up. Uh, move left. And then move down. Note that we're within the brackets here. Otherwise, we wouldn't be calling this within our wall loop. But this is why we, we are. Because we know it's within its scope. So we're dodging the death ray, collecting coins, getting that cash money. More cash money, please. There we go. Nice. So we did it under six statements. One, two, three, four. I'm not quite sure how to count statements. Maybe each function. But, uh... Pretty straightforward. So we dodged the death ray. Uh, we're doing while loops and basic syntax here. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so if you look, the maze goes right, up, right, 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 up, up, right, right, up, 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 right. So that's kind of the, the logic we need to find. We want to get to the end. Move right twice, move up twice. Sorry, I had a phone call. And so we're moving right, moving right, and then we want to hero dot move up. And then we want to move up and it's going to run that for as long as it can. Move right twice. Move up. Move up. Move right. Move right. So our while loop is reiterating through our instructions that we have set up here. And then once it hits the bottom, it's going to continue to go through it once more. And there we go. Very nicely done. So we just we just finished another five sections. Uh, when we come back, we'll be doing the second Kith Maze. As always, thank you for those of you supporting me on Patreon. It is incredibly appreciated. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, and share the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next Code Combat video. Thanks for watching.